Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University, looking at a brief overview of educational psychology. It is the study of how people learn. It includes topics such as memory, thinking, human development, learning behaviors, motivation, individual differences, intelligence, creativity, teaching strategies, and assessment. Educational psychology contains a variety of theories that describe how humans develop, how they best learn, how they should be taught, human capabilities, and the human condition. Now, a theory is not an untested hypothesis in this context. A theory is a way to explain a set of facts. Uh, as facts change, so do theories. Theories are always changing, evolving, and disappearing. Where do we get the data to create these theories? Research is used to provide the data to create theories. So a theory is a way of connecting the data dots. Theory in education and psychology. Research-based theory should be used to guide educational decisions. I make certain decisions in my class based on what I know about cognitive learning theory, how humans best learn. But varying theories can explain data differently. Behavioral, cognitive, social learning theories, humanistic learning theories, they all describe a somewhat different set of data dots. There are some overlapping differently. There is no single theory that is universally right, and all theories are a little bit right. So no single theory explains everything total. No single theory is totally wrong or totally right. The thing about theories is they should not be used to predict human behavior. Theories are used to understand human behavior, not predict behavior. That's just a very brief overview educational psychology.